<laughs> it's like perfect for what we need. Beautiful day today. Unfortunately, it is November and well, the end of November, it's almost December and it's a quarter after six and it's dark as night out. So, but we made the most of it. It got up to like 73. And so we went on a little adventure. Uh, didn't buy any cars or nothing, but we did go parts shopping and we got a couple things. Uh, first of all, the wiper and the fantastic beater van, the rear window wiper. It was not working. Um, so, went to U-Pull it, got us a new wiper motor and a blade assembly. Uh, one of these evenings we'll throw that in. It's not a huge deal. The score of the day though is this. This is a Ford 8.8 .8 rear differential. These are very common. You find them in Explorers like Freedom One, that's what Freedom One's rocking is an 8.8. .8. Um, and Rangers, that kind of stuff. Uh, very prevalent, but what's really cool about these is they're pretty dang strong. Uh, Jeepers uh, like to use them for swaps in Jeeps and stuff. And because uh, they hold up, they got one piece axle shafts, you can get lockers for them, all kinds of electric lockers, uh, mechanical lockers, uh, all that good stuff, spools, mini, um, how, what do they call them, lunchbox locker, mini lockers, internal lockers. Uh, however, uh, you can do a little better yet. We picked this up to put into the Dodge Dart because this came out of a Ranger, so it's narrow. And this came out of a 4-liter V6 Ranger with the manual transmission. Now, all of that I'm aware of, uh, the manual transmission 4 liter 4 Rangers have the 8.8 .8. it's centered so it will swap into a car or other vehicle of the two wheel drive nature and it's got a limited slip so we scored pretty big today at the U pull it and we have a limited slip differential for the Dodge Dart. That member, we're putting a 383 and a 727 in the thing. The little seven and a quarter Mopar rear end is not going to last. But wait, there's more. Uh, we lucked into a pretty good little unit here. It had the tag on one of the uh, cover bolts. I took the cover off, gave it a quick inspection. Looks like uh, it's still gonna lock up okay. There is some clutch material in it. You know, it's probably got some miles on it, but uh, we're gonna run it. And if we need to put new clutches in it um, or shims or whatever they're called, we'll do that. But uh, the tag tells us a little bit about this unit. I'm gonna cover this up. So the top number S359B, at the first at the first letter is the plant. So you have a Sterling plant, and then that's the model is the rest of that. And you could go to like fortification page and look that up. Uh, over here, the this is a date code. So. Uh, the first one is the last digit of the year. So this is a 2004 we pulled this out of and then I believe that stands for January I can't remember or the no the month. I don't know uh, And then this is a date code. I know the first letter is The year so four so 2004 is what I pulled this out of and then the rest of it factors out the rest of that uh, in the middle uh, pretty self-explanatory 8 8 but here's the juicy part. So, if you look real close, you have a 3L73. L is for limited slip. We have a 373 gear ratio. 
88 with a limited slip posi in it. <laughs> it's like perfect for what we need. Uh, the 383, 727, you know, lightweight dart is going to be super happy with this. Uh, so we're going to tuck it away for now. I wanted to get something found. It just so happens we found something that we probably won't even have to re-gear. Uh, we did cut it off at the drive shaft. So we retained the U-joint. That should be a, a small 1310, is it, U-joint? Um, all the brake lines are intact. Uh, it did have, it's got, it had rusty drums on it and somebody had kind of taken some of the brake hardware. I don't know why. But when, before we put this into the uh, dart, we'll probably spring for new drums, wheel cylinders, and hardware kits so it's fully functional because we're going to need some stopping power. Not quite sure what we're going to do at the front end of the dart um, as far as upgrades. I got to do a little research on that. I think, I think we may be able to swap some like a body parts um, or no, I'm sorry, B body parts or C body parts on it. Um, but I don't know if, if that'll work or not. If we can do that, we will. Uh, it just so happens we have the Fury 3, the second, <laughs> we have two, but the second one, uh, that's a power brake car. So maybe, just maybe, we can, um, Dang, mosquitoes. We can use some of the parts from that and swap them over to the dart. I don't know if that's possible or not. We'll find out though. And the final bit is we came out to the donor. Oh, excuse me, Plymouth Fury 3. We've got five on four and a half wheels on that. So there's our front end pieces. If you remember, the, the dart is 5 on 4. It's a really small bolt pattern. So that's 5 on 4.5. And, and then, looky here, 5 on 4.5. You can't make this up. That's why a lot of people go after these rear, rear ends and uh, swap them to Jeeps and stuff. Uh, matches like a Jeep Wrangler uh, bolt pattern and uh, matches our Mopar C body, B body bolt pattern. So hopefully we'll do a little research and we'll be able to figure out either if we can use our C body parts or if we need to um, come up with some. But we'll end up with a much more popular bolt pattern and then I don't, that opens it up for wheels and tires and all those good things um, so yeah it's good haul at the u pull it uh, on a beautiful day like I said we're gonna slide this back to the back of the shop and we've got stuff to work on now in the spring for that little dart it's gonna be pretty crazy so hey Appreciate you watching. This is a quick little update on our adventure today. We finally got all the bugs out of the tractor. It's running like mint. Um, we moved stuff around the shop a little bit today, sweeping up. Uh, we're in, gonna run out of nice days here in the heartland pretty quick. So comment if you have questions or wanna see something in particular. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to work on and we're running out of fall, but it's all going to be here in the spring, and we're going to have a lot more time in the spring. So uh, pretty excited about what next spring and summer are going to bring. Hey, thanks for watching our videos and liking and subscribing to our stuff. We'll see you on the next video.